Maybe. Folks, every day out there, a new technology arrives to make our lives better. Like the new generation of robots specifically designed to do jobs that scare us. <laughs> Fighting fires, defusing bombs, spending time with the elderly. <laughs> And tonight, we celebrate advances in robotics with our new segment, Cyborgasm. <laughs> Not entirely sure what happened there. Tonight's Cyber celebration is for a robot who has perfected yet another human task we don't want to do. Walking. <laughs> this is Atrius, a $4.7 million bipedal robot developed at Oregon State University whose carbon fiber legs let him walk eerily like a human who has four knees and a microwave for a head. <laughs> and just like a human, it can walk anywhere it wants where there is a massive scaffolding operated by a small <laughs> army of graduate students. Totally understandable. I mean, after our Christmas party, my interns are going to have to do the same just to get me to my limo. <laughs> it's, it's a true story. Its creators, its creators claim that Atrius was developed to test and demonstrate theoretical concepts for efficient and agile locomotion. But if there is purely science, here, then how come the rest of this video is just these nerds pelting Atreus with volleyballs? Come on, what did the robot do? Claim Attack of the Clones was better than Return of the Jedi? <laughs> now, at first, at first, I thought that maybe the scientists were just testing the robot's stability, but then I saw another video that's just them repeatedly kicking the robots. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! It has no mouth! It can't say the safe word! I think it's pretty obvious what's happening here. Clearly, these scientists built a cyborg weakling as a punching bag so they could take out years of pent-up nerd rage. <laughs> and as a result, robots will now just have just as much anger as the nerds who built them. <laughs> and when the robot uprising comes, and it will come, folks, <laughs> abusive nerds will be the first up against the wall. Ironically, the jocks will be spared because robots have always been welcome in the NFL.